Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Florida state is attempting to make child rape punishable by death. Do you think child rape warrants a death penalty? Why or why not? The problem with the death penalty isn't what crime is or isn't deserving of it. It's that you can get the wrong people. The government having this unilateral control to execute people is not good. This is a bad and loaded question. This carrot 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 carrot. 99 plus percent of people will agree that a child abuser deserves death. That's not the issue. Point is you may get the wrong person, especially when listening to traumatized kids. Trauma can change your memories, especially if you're a kid. It's only a matter of time before the first person the kid saw after the abuse gets killed instead. Of the real rapist, it's too easy to mess up. Not to take away from any of the points you made. The context for this regarding Florida is their passing, trying to pass legislature that would treat drag show participants as sexual offenders. A large percentage of people who participate in drag performances are members of the LGBT plus community, which the Florida GOP is specifically targeting. With all of the legislation they're trying to push through, it will give them the right to lump drag performers in with legit sexual offenders to systematically cleanse people that threaten their way of existence. This is indeed a very slippery, dangerous slope to head towards and looks a lot like Nazi Germany's playbook. Also, there's always the chance of investigators working in bad faith, i.e. asking leading questions, forcing confessions, discriminatory profiling, etc. The death penalty would finalize a decision that could kill an innocent while the guilty roam free. I don't believe in the death penalty but if I did I can think of no better candidate. This, allowing the government to kill anyone is a slippery slope to a whole mess of problems. However, someone with the mindset that can keep up an erection while a child screams no is not someone that should be allowed to roam society. Castration might be the best. Edit. Well, didn't expect this to blow up so let me clarify. Yes, I know rapists aren't just men, it's just harder to cut off pieces of their knot. And yes, you've all made good points that any sort of capital punishment can be used and abused against anyone because fascism is still a thing. The only problem is that innocent people have been convicted by the judicial system in many cases. And it's very hard to overturn convictions even with new evidence. It should be absolutely crystal clear that they have the right person and rape occurred. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Can you imagine being put to death on mistaken identity in a case like this? Three years later the actual person who did it is discovered. Or your enemies colluded to be witnesses against you. It's not a trivial matter for the state to put someone to death. I hope Florida is keeping those aspects in mind. But I wonder if it's not being rushed for some political clout. Edit. Flash 635 below also pointed out another problem with giving out capital punishment for crimes that are not murder. It's also thought that applying the death penalty would encourage perpetrators to kill the witnesses. Agreed. Go take a look at the Innocence Project's case files and you'll see very quickly that the justice system gets it wrong way too much to be trusted with the power of death. Also, same. Oh I 100% believe that there's lots of people who should be killed for certain crimes. I also do not trust the government to be the one to make that decision. In theory, yes, I have no problems with child rapists dying. In practice, there's four issues. The first is the issue with the death penalty in general. The problem with killing innocent people. The second issue is that the death penalty is not an effective deterrent to committing crime. The third issue is specific to child rape. Specifically, children are predominantly preyed on by family. Despite the fact they've been raped. Do you think a child wants to send Uncle Eddie or their father to their death? It makes an underreported issue even worse as no child wants to be responsible for the death of family. And the fourth issue is similar to number three, but on the perpetrator's end. If they rape a child, do they let the child live and potentially identify them? Or do they kill the child as the penalty will be the same regardless? Two of these points came from victims' rights groups in 2008 who supported the appeal of a child rapist who had received the death penalty. But Kennedy has received support from unlikely allies, victims' rights groups. They fear that imposing the death penalty for child rape could encourage child rapists to kill their victims. If the offenders know that they don't face any greater risk for killing the victim than they do for raping the victim, what is their incentive for letting the victim live? Quote, said Judy Benetters, who is the executive director for the Louisiana Foundation Against Sexual Assault. Some victims of child rape also support Kennedy. Jody Plach, now 35, who was raped and kidnapped as a child, says that the possibility of the death penalty adds too much burden to the child. A child who's been raped has been through enough, he said. He points out that the offenders are usually a trusted adult and he worries the children will feel extra trauma if they know that the offender might die if the child reports the crime. You missed a fifth issue. Certain parties accusing minority groups of child molestation, rape. And then you look at how there's been a huge push to cast LGBTQ people as groomers and pedophiles. I do not believe in the death penalty for anyone. 
I also wouldn't be particularly upset if a child rapist died. Most importantly, in today's world, I do not trust the politicians of Florida to accurately determine who is and isn't a child rapist. Florida does not have a great track record. The state leads with the most exonerations from death row. This will pair nicely with DeSantis' new kangaroo court rules where you don't need a majority to convict for the death penalty. Eight twelfths now, and trying to make being a drag queen around children considered sexual assault. They're laying the groundwork for extermination of out groups. Florida will be putting drag queens to death for reading to children. IDK if it was correct or not but I def saw another post saying that they want to start charging drag as child sexual abuse. And then surprisingly right after that they are talking about putting child sex abusers to death. I won't lose any sleep over an actual child molester being killed but if this is true it really scares me for trans people and drag queens.